What is up? How are you today? Steve here and in this video we're going to be talking about being Irish. So let's get into it. Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button now for all your latest fitness and lifestyle content. If you're not new here, you know this is of course Mindset on the Move. The point of these Mindset on the Move videos is to talk about mindset topics while going about our daily business and being on the move. It's a pretty grey Irish Sunday here in Limerick at the moment and that kind of sets us up nicely for this week's topic which is being Irish and the Irish mindset. Ireland is a pretty strange little green country and I've lived here all my life and one thing I've noticed is that Irish people seem to have a different mindset to a lot of other people. What I mean by that is Irish people have a lot of traits that you don't really find in a lot of other countries. In this video we're going to take a look at some of those traits and make sure you stick around to the end because we're going to look at how you can overcome some of these traits when they become an issue or how you deal with these traits on an everyday basis. Now I'm not saying these traits are bad, being Irish is great, but they can get in the way sometimes when you want to go outside the norm or do something that isn't really considered Irish. For example, fitness transformations and YouTube channels and a lot of these more modern adventures that people go on. They can quite often be frowned upon by older Irish people or even your friends and family. Before we get into this chat I just want to say if you are from somewhere rural in Ireland or somewhere where what you're doing isn't the norm that's okay. I, I want you to know that you know just because your mother's a nurse and your father's a guard and everything's very Irish that doesn't mean you can't be an actor or it doesn't mean that you can't go outside what is expected of your town or move away from your town. Sometimes this Irish mindset can hold us back or make us not want to do things that we really want to do for ourselves. And I think that leads us nicely into the first Irish trait I'm going to talk about which is being judgmental. We are a judgmental nation whether you agree with it or not, we kind of are. We have this Irish way of looking at things. If somebody's doing something different or if somebody is dressing differently or anything like that, it's it's kind of an old Irish thing to look at them differently, to be like, Where, where's your man think he's going with his hat? <laughs> Especially in older Irish towns where I found that everybody knows everyone and if you want to stick your head out in any way or you want to do something that is against the norm of the town, it, it's, it nearly becomes a talking point down the local pub. Have you seen the state of John and Mary's young fella? He has four brothers before him, they're all woodwork teachers, and he wants to be a dancer? What is wrong with him? Irish people are judgmental like that, especially in smaller towns where everyone knows your family, everyone knows what your older brother did for a living or does for a living, knows what your mother and father do for a living, and when you want to step away from that or to do something different, that Irish sense of judgement kind of weighs on you a little bit. You almost don't want to do you almost don't want to do what makes you happy because it's not what everyone else expects of you. I don't know if nobody said this to you before, but it's okay to not do what your parents want you to do or what Jimmy down in the pub wants you to do or you know, if you're miserable in a college course, change the course. If you're miserable in your job, look for another job. Don't just do all of these things because you're afraid of that Irish judgement. I'll admit that's a slightly negative Irish trait that people have to overcome sometimes, but it's not all bad. We are a very close-knit country. Family is very important to us. And this is great. I mean, I love nothing more than big Irish family gatherings. Going over to your relative's house at Christmas, seeing all the cousins, all the brothers and sisters, like that, that is the most Irish thing ever. It's fantastic. But sometimes this family closeness is too close. And I don't mean in a weird, like, too close, as in that, that brother and sister are very close, aren't No, like, nothing weird. Family isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying here. But sometimes, like we said before, family can, can be judgmental, it can be a pressure. You have to impress your parents, you have to do what your brother and sister did. We're taught from a very young age to just to follow along in what our family wants us to do and to follow along in what our brother or sister did. Like, we're we're taught that straight away, especially with things like right of entry in secondary school, where because your brother or sister went there, you're entitled to go there too. We're taught to have very close family ties from a young age, and 
this can be a good and a bad thing. I mean, you're always you're always part of a community. You're always in a family in Ireland, but at the same time, it can be a bit detrimental to have to live up to what they want you to do and to what you think you should do. But that can be tough for a young Irish person who wants to do what makes them happy, wants to pursue a fitness journey or a YouTube journey or a college course that no one in their family has ever done before or even just not going to college. Like that Irish judgment and the family pressure that a lot of a lot of you go through, it's just part of that Irish mindset that people tend not to talk about. We can't talk about being Irish without talking about culture, tradition and the GAA. The GAA comes up in everything, and especially when you're talking anything to do with fitness. It's like, oh yeah, you're gonna get fit. You gotta play county. Like that's the. I love that in Ireland, this kind of this symbol of making it, of being a peak athlete, of really doing what is expected of you is to play county GAA. Again, don't get me wrong. I love the GAA. I love the sports. I played them when I was younger, but there seems to be this expectation it's like I grew up playing basketball and that's weird in Ireland when you don't play GAA it's like there's this huge expectation of you to play Irish sports and when you play a foreign sport like basketball or soccer or anything like that that's not part of the GAA there's this weird kind of overshadowing feeling about it I, I, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this. Let me know in the comments if any of you play basketball or played badminton or table tennis or any sort of sport that you really excelled at, but because it wasn't the GAA, there was a bit of a, like, that Irish judgment again, that, like, you're not playing GAA, like, what's wrong? Were you, were you supposed to be a good corner forward, but you got injured and now you play tennis? There's this complete imbalance in the way people view the GAA in Ireland, and... It's a great, again, it's a fantastic, fantastic association. The sports are amazing. It's a shame that they're not played in more countries. But I feel like I almost get, like, people freak out when I'm, like, saying I don't play hurling or I don't play Gaelic football. And it's like, especially if I if I say anything bad about the GAA. What do you mean you don't like GAA? But, but you don't play hurling. What's wrong with you? You played basketball. Ah, yeah, that make you a good corner forward now. Like, no, I played basketball because I was good at basketball and wanted to play basketball. It wasn't to help my GAA career. I know what I'm about to say next is going to annoy a lot of people, but I don't really care. I kind of want to see what happens. The GAA is... The GAA is an association of tiny sports in a tiny rock off the coast of England that a good percentage of the world don't know anything about. They don't know the sports exist. They don't know anything about the country. When compared to something like basketball that has this massive global reach or soccer or anything like that where the sport's much bigger, it's really not that big a thing and especially like in Ireland it just gets blown up it's just like the biggest deal in the world the comparison I usually make is I know I have nine All-Ireland basketball medals nine or ten I don't even remember I played so much basketball over the years I was in a lot of All-Ireland finals I was in a lot of All-Ireland competitions and like if I said I had nine All-Ireland hurling medals or nine Ireland Gaelic medals like my face would be on the side of car dealerships in Limerick like it would be the biggest deal ever because it's not GAA it seems to just get looked down on by Irish people like you could be on the best soccer team in the country you could be part of an international level hockey panel you could be in the Olympics and people would still probably judge you for not be playing county, not playing for your county in any sort of GAA sport, which, I don't know, just seems mental to me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Let me, like, let me know in the comments. Do you play GAA? Do you play hurling? Do you play county for anyone? Have you experienced what I'm talking about? Have you ever played hurling but wanted to play a different sport and felt you couldn't? 
because of that Irish judgment or because your family had strong ties to the local GAA club and it would have been frowned upon if you said you wanted to go play volleyball or something that because it wasn't a GAA sport in Ireland you felt that you couldn't do it. Ireland is an old-fashioned country. We've made some fantastic leaps and bounds in the right direction in the last couple of years with various referendums and votes and stuff. I'm definitely not going to get into the details of those but we're going the right direction but we're still old-fashioned. It's an old country. Even Limerick you drive anywhere like within 10 minutes any direction of the city centre and you're out the country. You can find country lanes, old man pubs, like everywhere. Little towns with unpronounceable names. Like this old fashioned Irish mentality is everywhere in the country. Now it is a beautiful thing. I love nothing more than a corner stall in an old man pub. The sooner we get back to being able to go to old man pubs and have a few pints and play some games of pool and whatever, the happier I will be. Trust me, I will be delighted. But this old fashioned mentality can get in the way of what you want to do. An example I'll use is an American parent bringing up an American child. Now how many times have you heard this kind of American mentality of like you can be anything you want, like you want to be the president, yeah you got it, yeah go be the president, like you're definitely, you want to be an astronaut, fantastic, go be an astronaut. Like that kind of newer mentality of like you can be anything you want, spread your wings, you know shoot for the stars and if you miss your, shoot for the moon and if you miss you'll fall in the stars or some corny shit like that. I don't think Irish people have that mentality at all. I know even myself growing up when I was a kid and I was like, hey mom, I want to be a professional basketball player. And my mom was like, Haha, yeah, but you know, seriously, what do you want to do? Like, you know, you want to be an engineer? I know that Asian parents and Indian parents get kind of a stereotype of being pushy, but Irish parents are kind of guilty of this old fashioned, no, you can't do anything you want. That doesn't make sense mentality which is kind of shit when you're a kid and you're like I want to do this and your parents are like that's a stupid idea um, and I think that comes down to this old-fashioned Irish longing for safety that you have to do primary school secondary school college job we'll even go we'll go even more Irish we'll go primary school communion confirmation secondary school college marriage funeral. If I'm honest, this old-fashioned Irish mindset really annoys me. Young people always have an idea of what they want to do, but because we're Irish, it's like, you need a fallback, you need a safety net, you know, that's not going to work out for you, that's not what your older brother did, Jimmy down the pub thinks you should do something else. Everyone's judgmental, everyone has a say, you need to do what your family wants. It can actually be detrimental to any of you who want to do something more than anything else. If you want to travel to Magaluf and be a rep for some sleazy bar then go off for the summer and do it earn some cash come back you know I think this old-fashioned structure stems from school that we do our junior cert we do our leaving cert and we're expected to know what we need to do for the rest of our lives after our leaving cert that it's like we got this many points we go into this course and then we go do that job until we die I hate that that I think that's nuts am I the only one who thinks that's mental that what? I've done a couple of courses now and every time I do a course I'm like yeah I hate this but because I'm Irish I'm like well I've started it I might as well keep doing what I hate because everyone will judge me if I drop out my parents will not be happy if I want to do something else maybe it's just me but that's that's how I see the Irish mindset and there's a few things you can do to overcome these things first of all is really and truly not caring what other people think of what you do. That is the one true way to beat Irish judgement. You can walk down the street wearing whatever you want, being whatever you want, and not being afraid of people going like, where's your man after? Perfecting the art of not giving a shit is really important when you're in Ireland, because everyone has an opinion, and if you get bogged down with everyone else's opinion, you won't be able to do what makes you happy, whatever that is. No. I'm not saying you all have to have crazy dreams and follow them and do that, like if you want to, if all you want to do is be a guard and you've worked your whole life towards being a guard and then you get to be a guard, fantastic, that is ideal, like you found what you want to do in life and you're doing it, there's nothing wrong with that, And but even as part of that, there's going to be someone 
a lot of people who will have an opinion about that as well, especially in Ireland, who will say you should have been an engineer, or you should have been a teacher, or you would have made a great whatever it is. And you need to learn to not give a shit what they say. So the second thing I'll address is the family thing. Now, the way to get around your family wanting you to do something is to actually talk to them. Irish people are great for chatting, but we rarely actually have in-depth conversations. So if you're doing something because your mother or father want you to do it, or you're doing something because your brother did it before you and you have to do what he did, say it to them. Mom, I don't want to work in this shop. Mom, I don't want to be a mechanical engineer. Mom, I don't want to be an Irish teacher. Say it. Just say, tell them how you feel. Tell them what you want to do. Have a plan. Don't just rock up and announce that you want to drop out of college or announce that you don't want to work this job anymore. Go up to your parents and say, look, I'm really not happy doing this, but I want to do this and this is how I'm going to do it. If you can present them with the problem and the solution, they're more likely to support you. Irish people have their opinions, but if you approach an Irish person with the problem already solved, they're more likely to listen to you, especially your family. The last point I'll make in this video is being different is okay. It's fine. Don't over stress it. Someone once told me that I'm not good at being Irish. How are you not good at being where you're from? How does that work? I think what they meant was I don't drink tea, I don't play GAA, I don't have a massive family, I don't live in a rural country Irish area. All these things that I suppose they considered make someone Irish. These Irish mentalities. I want to wrap this video up by saying it's okay to not be good at being Irish. If you want to be different, then be different. Don't fall victim to the Irish judgement, thinking that everybody knows your business, knows your family and knows what they want you to do. Ignore all that. Don't just do what your family wants you to do. If you want to do something that goes against what your family wants, then do it. Don't just do what your family expects you to do. If you found something that truly makes you happy, be it being a dancer, being a singer, being an actor, being a guard, being a teacher, being a nurse, being a doctor, if you found something that you want to do, then do it. If it really does make you happy, your family will be happy for you. And this goes for your job, your social life, the sports you want to play. If it goes against Irish culture or it goes against what you think other people want you to do, so what? Do it. Do it if it makes you happy. Who cares? And the last thing, Ireland is an old-fashioned country. A lot of the stuff you want to do or a lot of the newer jobs or newer professions or newer hobbies, they're not really that well recognised in Ireland or sometimes not even that well received. Don't let it hold you back. If what you're doing isn't traditional Irish, so what? Do it anyway. If you found this video helpful, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if any of the topics in today's video directly applied to you, let me know in the comments. If you are having a problem or if you want to pursue something that you feel goes against the Irish mentality, then let us know in the comments. Guaranteed, if you are having the problem, someone else will be having the problem as well. So let's talk about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.